Hi, welcome to Seymour's World Commentary. My name is Seymour Kazimersky, and you are watching on ThinkTech Hawaii. The title of my show today is How Do You Carve Out Calm in Chaos? We all deal with varying levels of stress these days. From major life upheavals to the smallest annoyance, it inf infiltrates our lives on an everyday basis. I admit the last few months have been a bit more stressful for me and I needed to find ways to navigate through the rough waters and try to calm myself through the ups and downs. Stress doesn't have to only come from the big stuff. I mean, I get stressed out if I'm working on something that takes a lot of concentration and my dog starts going nuts, barking at who knows what at our gate. I get stressed when I see my inbox overflowing and I wonder how I'm going to manage to get on top of it. I get even more stressed watching the news. We live in such a fast moving world that's constantly demanding our attention. And we have the world just to click away in our phones, telling us how bad things are, how bad things are getting. So how do we chill out? My stress tends to build up inside me quietly, and I do internalize a lot of it, which isn't particularly healthy. But finding time to spoil myself a little on a regular basis means I also can release some of that pent up energy so it doesn't get on top of me. One, get active, walk, play sports, go for a workout. You will feel wonderful after all the toxins are released from your body. Two, relax by turning off your phone. Light some scented candles, close your eyes, take deep breaths, and transport yourself to happier, more chilled out times. Three, start reading a good book or listen to audiobooks. I don't read anywhere near as much as what I used to, but every time I get into a good book, my stresses disappear. Next, how about a digital detox? There really is something incredibly relaxing about getting off your laptop and your phone and just unplugging completely for a while. You should have a pampering ritual. It may seem a cliche, but I find spending a little time to pamper myself is such a wonderful boost at the end of a long week. A massage, aromatherapy, a facial, manicures, pedicures, the list goes on. Remember to treat yourself. Music is one of the best dis distressors. Whether you play piano or create a chill out playlist, this is one of the best methods I know for relaxation. A little relaxing music is something I'm always really fond of playing in the house. I find that music helps me to compartmentalize my day. And when the music goes on, I know that's a signal to my brain to stop thinking about work and start thinking about whatever makes me smile. Finally, and this may be strange, buy yourself some flowers. They really make my day. The aroma, the colors, the beauty of nature in your hand. Absolutely delightful and not a bad reminder that you love your spouse as well. And now it's your turn. How do you carve calm out of chaos? What are your tips for relaxation? Do you use meditation? Long hot baths? Perhaps a yoga session? I'd love to know your own tips. Thank you for watching Seymour's World Commentary on ThinkTech Hawaii. Send me your comments. Aloha.